going to an endodontist tomorrow, which is not a most exciting appointment. So to make myself feel better, I'm gonna do guess what? An art haul. It is, um, I can't show you my address. It is from Dick Blick. I already forgot what's in here. Um, it's sort of an extension of the uh, universe haul. So we will go ahead and open it up together. I really don't remember what I got, but it's heavy, so it must be a lot of things. It's not a really huge box though, look. See, not the biggest of boxes, but a very exciting box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, here's the box. I forgot to turn on the video when I was cutting the box open, but do you really need me, need to see me opening this? Probably not, it's not that exciting cutting tape. But here's the art haul. I wanted to do it tonight because I have to drive literally an hour and 45 minutes to see an endodontist tomorrow. I live in the middle of nowhere and I'm going to make a video one day about how I want to cultivate my life because at the age of 40, I have found myself living in the middle of nowhere, not near any family. I don't have any friends because it's very difficult to make friends in a very rural area. Um, and I literally don't go anywhere and do anything other than hang out with my adorable two dogs. I know my life could be way worse because I'm very thankful for my two dogs. Um, but because I never go anywhere and do anything, like I literally never eat out, I have used art supplies as a coping mechanism for the, um, stress of the past year. But, um, this is not a video about complaining. I actually have given my resignation and will be leaving my job soon. I don't know yet if I will be going into a permanent job or um, doing part-time only. I kind of want to do part-time only, but I'm really afraid of the financial aspects of it. So we'll see how it goes. It's kind of nice to have a very steady income and um, you know buy this and not have to worry about your credit card bill. But at the same time, I don't want to feel like I'm always chasing money and then not having the life that I actually want. I'm going to do a video on how I'm planning on cultivating my life better because I want to live a life. I want to live the life, the ideal life that I dream of. I don't want it to be a dream. I want it to be like a reality for me. That was a very long introduction to our art haul. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, so I'm gonna move all of this out. Oh wow, this box is packed with things. I had no idea. I mean, I had no idea I bought this much stuff. I must have just clicked away in my cart and just kept adding and adding and adding. Um, honestly, I should have like screen captured the art adventure I was having. Um, but this might turn into a two-part art haul because it's already 1040 here. Um, and I don't know if I have enough um, awake power to do this. But honestly, friends, what didn't I buy? Look at all these beautiful colored pencils. I didn't realize I bought so many, but they're so beautiful. Friends, let's just, let's look at these colors. Let me read out the colors to you, friends. Let me read out the colors. It looks like there's lots of oranges and greens in here. Oh, look at how beautiful they are. No, I have a bouquet of flowers right in front of me. Um, and these colors kind of match the bouquet of flowers. I'll show you the bouquet of flowers at the end. Okay. This is yellow ochre. Sap green. And 
easy. It has the white fast reading on it, which is nice. Tiger Lily, what a pretty name. Raisin. I'm really into these like wine, Bordeaux, raisin color reds. Which color am I not into? I love all the colors. I, I don't have a color palette. I don't know if I ever want a color palette. I know for the more the professional artists, they they have like a distinct style that maybe they want to be recognized and known for. I don't know if I want that for myself. I guess we'll see where I am in five to 10 years. Violet. Do you all have a color palette that you go by? Sand. Oh, this color is beautiful. Luminous Opera. I love the opera color. It's unfortunate it's not light fast, but as a beginner, you get to not care about light fastness. I'm not selling the artwork anytime soon. Luminous Rose. Marigold. Wine Red. Mauve. Navy blue. Tan. Should I have it down lower? It's nighttime, so this, when I swatch this, it's going to be during the day. Olive green. Tangerine. Olive green, tangerine, that rhymes. Bordeaux, Bordeaux red. Yes, this Bordeaux red color. I've been buying it in all sorts of things. I bet you there's multiple Bordeaux reds in here. I, I'm sure there is. Olive drab. Sounds morose. Iris. Smalt blue. I love that name, smalt. It's smalty. Smoke blue. Vermilion. Vermilion really is an orange color, isn't it? Whenever I hear verm vermilion, I think it's a reddish orange, but in fact, I think it's an orangey red. No, it is a reddish orange. I messed that up. I always think it's an orangey red, but I think it's a reddish orange. Luminous orange. Olive green. Did I have two olive greens? I don't know. I might have read one of the other ones wrong. Khaki. This khaki. This khaki looks kind of greenish under this artificial right, but it's actually more khaki colored. Um, don't wait, it will be swatched later under under uh, normal lighting, under daylight lighting. Okay, these are um, Derwent Color Soft. This wood is really pretty. Bright purple. Gray lavender. Brown black. Dark terracotta, blackberry. You know, I always buy blackberries and they're never sweet. I swear the, the, the fruit we get here, it's not sweet. Cloud blue, Persian gray. Although there is um, an area here, it's, I live in the UP. It, there's an area here called Copper Harbor that's in the very northern part of the UP. For those of you who are not from the US, actually for those of you who are even from the US, the UP is the part of Michigan that's above Wisconsin. Um, honestly, even the people that are not from the tri-state area, a lot of people don't aren't even familiar with that term who are Americans, but it's the part of Michigan that's above Wisconsin. And it where I live is 
four and a half hours away from Chicago North driving and it is actually very close to Canada and there's a place part that's about three hours away from me and even more north that's near Canada but you know we have the whole Lake Superior in between us and Canada and that Copper Harbor area has this wonderful thornberry that I guess grows in the area. I had never heard of it, but thornberry jam is wonderful. There's a place called the Jam Pot that sells the thornberry jam. And um, you know what? Maybe I'll link it down for you guys and you can check it out. The, the Jam Pot is owned by these monks. They're, they're Christian monks that have this monastery randomly in Copper Harbor on Lake Superior. All right, let's get back to this. Derwent Blood Orange. I love the color Blood Orange. Pea Green. Remember I had a um, Cranberry Pea Green? And Lichen Green. Let me put these back in the bag. Oh, I've lost them. Oh, these. Oh, it's, well, you know what? If this is annoying for you guys to watch, I'll just cut it out, but I want to keep these together. I do have a bag for colored pencils. Um, it's not that high quality. I ordered on Amazon, but I guess I should make use of it and put those in here. Put these in there. Okay, this is another couple of color softs. It is Loganberry and Pimento. These colors look great. It would take me 10 minutes to open that, so I'm not opening it. Um, and then I I have been using these watercolor brushes, which I, I'm pretty sure I bought them like more than six years ago. I think I bought them like 10 years ago or something. Um, and the idiot that I am, I'm so dumb. I thought they were, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought they were oil. Um, they were for oil. They definitely are not. They're for watercolor. Um, that's a different story. And I have been using these and these are fine. They work well, but my goodness, the Neptunes, they pick up so much water and, and with it so much paint that it's a huge difference working between these and these. Um, and so I got a few more of them to do a little bit more detail work. Um, this, I, I definitely, I don't regret purchasing anything, honestly. Sorry for that loud bang. I don't regret purchasing anything, but I definitely don't regret purchasing Neptune brushes. And then I got all these markers. Look at all of them. They're so wonderful. Oh, and they're so cute. Look at look at the little shapes. Look at this. This is like a spaceship. Like, like a little torpedo. Or a submarine. Yes, I am an adult. I am 40 and I am an adult. Permanent rose. This is... Um... Burnt Red. These are uh, the Windsor Newton brand of watercolor markers. I don't know if they're refillable. It'd be nice if they were. Payne's Gray. Hooker's Green Dark. Can I just tell all of you that um, I discovered I discovered yesterday I made the most awful looking gouache painting, but in the process of making that awful gouache painting, I discovered the most beautiful brown, which is a combination of Hooker's Green and Alizarin Crimson. Let me find my sketchbook so I can show you that beautiful, beautiful color. Here it is. This sketchbook is never far from me. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna show you the whole picture because it's so hideous, but I will show you just the little tidbit that proves my point. Okay. 
Here's a little tidbit that proves my point. Do you see, my? Well, you just saw the whole ugly painting. It's horrendous. I've never used gouache before and clearly I don't know how to utilize it. It dries so quickly. Yeah, it's hard, I'll learn. But right here, look at this gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful, dark, rich, brown color. I love it, I love it, it's wonderful. It is a mix of alizarin crimson and hooker's green if you would like to try to um, get it for yourself. Um, I highly recommend trying it out. This is one of those Molotov one for all acrylic markers. This one is a, this color is so pretty. It's like an army green. What is it called? Future green. Quinacridone magenta. Can never go wrong with Quinacridone magenta. Sakura color made in Japan. Bordeaux. This Bordeaux looks purple though. Pale rose. Another Molotow marker, blue violet pastel. Oh, sorry, did you guys see these? Blue violet pastel. Mm -hmm.